Hi, boys and girls. It's great to be back with you. Now, I'm hoping that you can tell me what season we're in and winter is not the answer I want. It started on a Wednesday. Maybe you went over to church and somebody put something on your forehead. That would be Ash Wednesday and it started the season of Lent. And Lent is a 40 day time when we change our hearts to get ready for the most important time of the year. And I know we all think, well, when Jesus came on Christmas was the most important favorite holiday. But what's even more important is Easter time because that's when Jesus died for us on the cross. And so just like in Advent, how we got our hearts ready for Jesus's arrival, now we wanna make ourselves ready for when Jesus dies for us. And then, because then he rises for us, it's the best. So I thought we usually talk about giving up something for Lent. If you listened to Father Chris in his homily, um, the week before Lent started, he talked about maybe giving up some of your computer time, your screen time, your games, and adding something like maybe grace at meals. So I thought we could talk about your priorities. That's a big word that means what's important. And if you think about this jar, this jar is how much time you have in the day. This is your 24 hours. And during the day, you have to fit a whole bunch of things in there. Some of them are really important. Some of them are less important. Some of them, a lot of them, you might think they're important. Mom and dad don't think they're important. There's a lot of stuff like that. But if we're not careful how we fill our 24 hours, the important stuff doesn't make it in. So the important things are the big things, things like God and your family and prayer and our community. Those are the big things. Those are, those are the really important things. Then there are the less big things, our little pebbles here. And those are things that they are important but they're not as important as God and your family. Things like school, things like doctor's appointments, things like homework, things like your sports teams. They're really important to your life, but they're not the most important thing. Then there are the other things, the things like watching TV and video games and worrying about things and procrastinating the things you should be doing. That's all the sand. That's the dust. That's the little things. But what happens sometimes is we forget the priority. We forget what's important. So I'm going to show you how people do it a lot of times, and then we'll do talk about the right way to do it. Because if I take all the little things, like worrying if my sister got the biggest piece of cake, or playing lots and lots of Mario Kart, or maybe worrying if about anything. Worrying is just always a little thing because worry doesn't help. Um, or things like watching TV shows, or if you're allowed to watch on your iPad, you know, cat videos all day. that sort of keeps you all by yourself and not interacting with the people who love you. So if we fill our jar with all those things, now it's time to do my homework. It doesn't fit in the jar. Anything above this glass is outside my 24 hours. It's time to go to the dentist. It's time to brush my teeth. It's time to go to school. None of it fits. And then, do I have time for my family? What about for God? What about for prayer? There's just no room. It's not going to fit. So we can fix this, though, because a lot of times people get really busy with the sand 
and they think they're so busy and everything they need to do is so important. And there is time for that if you put the big things first. So if I remember to put God in first, remember my family, I'm respecting them, I'm taking time with them, I'm eating dinner with my family, I'm not holing myself up in my room all by myself. I'm saying my prayers, I'm saying grace. So now they're all under the glass, we fit them all in. Then I still have time to go to school. I have time to go to the dentist, get in there. I have time to brush my teeth. I have time to do my homework. I have time to go to my soccer game or my hockey game or ballet practice or gymnastics. It all fits. Now, let's see, what else could I go to? Maybe I'll go for a walk. Maybe I will take the dog for a walk. Um, then we still have time for all those other things. And those other things are the things that usually you fight about with your parents. It's the things like spending too much time watching TV or playing video games. It's the things that bother you. It's worrying about who got more than you, who got to be first in line. Did someone else get more attention than you did? All those things are the little things. But if you've taken care of the big things first, especially if you remember to say your prayers, you'll have a lot less of those worries because God will help you with them. But I have time for video games. I have time for TV. I can watch my favorite show. I can even watch my favorite YouTube videos. And it still all fits. And it all fit inside my 24 hours because I made sure I took care of the big things first. So now during Lent, when we're trying to get our hearts ready for Jesus, and you might find whatever you choose to do during Lent, it's something you're trying to do to make yourself better. It starts to become a habit after six weeks of doing it. So you stay being a better person afterwards. That's why doing something, adding something, is better than giving up candy or ice cream. That's all good too, because it helps you, you know, suffer a little bit and realize what Jesus went through. But if you can do something to make yourself better and get your priorities straight, then it will help you going forward to be a better person. All right, boys and girls, you have still have time. Think of that thing you're going to do. Think of how you're going to make it better. Maybe remember to say your prayers when you wake up and when you go to bed. Maybe say grace. Maybe be more respectful for mom and dad. And always put God first, and they'll help you be a better person every day. See you later.